One of my dear friends told me a long time ago, if you want your kids to be able to talk or if you want to have an awkward conversation with your kids, get them in the car. There's something about riding side by side, both of you facing the road where you don't have to make direct eye contact that allows conversations to flow easier. I am definitely not a believer in one big conversation about big topics. I think they should be slowly seeded over time so they slowly start to understand different components of whether it's coming from a biology standpoint, whether it's peer pressure, whether it's hard conversations in other places in life. I just think that those conversations need to happen slowly over time so you're building on a subject and they have a lot of things to mull over. I remember for a while when purity culture was going big, there was like this whole like weekend getaway to like take your daughter away and tell her all about all things sex. And I never really liked that idea because I was like, well, that's just one conversation. And all you're telling them is the only place we can talk about this is when we're far away from everybody else. Like this is going to be a huge intricate part of your life for the remainder of it. So why are we just making this one weekend as opposed to a lifelong conversation and keeping the dialogue and the doors open, making sure that you're having those conversations, even though they may be somewhat awkward, tear that awkwardness down and just bring it into your daily life. Like even just last night, my kids and I, I got this new climbing thing for the backyard. So my kids and I have been climbing on it. It's like one of those like big climbers. And so I was climbing it on it with them and my daughter had said something that brought up the topic of sex and she is 11 and so she understands some but not all and so I just threw out a few more facts than she knew her other sister was there so she threw out a couple of things and then we just discussed until the conversation died and then moved on to the next topic so now she will take that she will mull over it she will think about it and then she will spit back out something else later on but other of my children are not going to just bring these kind of topics up naturally so getting those children in a car where they just word vomit and then you are able to talk back and they're able to talk back, you unpack a lot more. One of my daughters was having a major struggle with friends and it was definitely like a difficult, difficult time. And we did not crack the shell on what was going on until we were in the car driving home and she broke down and we were able to start the unpacking of this. And the next day we were able to unpack a little bit more and the next day a little bit more and eventually she found a place of peace with it. All while knowing that she could very easily bring this up with me again if she has to unpack more or wants more advice on it. So if you have a child that doesn't want to open up very often, get them in the car and just drive. Preferably like 10 minutes away. Because introverts can sit in silence for far longer than us extroverts can. And just wait for them to open up and start talking because there probably are things they want to talk about things they might not be comfortable talking about in other places. Do this as much as possible until they're able to just open up organically on like a daily basis. Sometimes you just need to break the seal and then they take it from there.